name is Michael Tran. And this is Melanie from Ecomix. Yes, Melanie Power. Well, this farm originated from uh, Bang's uh, father and his uncle. And Bang grows um, protective crop, which grows capsicum and uh, tomatoes. Uh, the hot house that we're standing here now is uh, one 11,000 square metre. Uh, it was built uh, early this year and we just fitted out the internal structure, putting these Ecomix cocoa bags on these stands here. Uh, and this is the, the very first crop, which was transplanted about a month ago. There's about 2.3 plants or heads per square meter and the, the gap between each bag is around about half a meter. 1.7 meter from center to center. Uh, 23,000. 23,000. 2.3 uh, plants per, per meter. Media is, media is coconut husk, which is a 50 50 mixture, 50% 50 chip, and then pith and fiber mixed together for drainage. And this gives good drainage and good control for hydroponics. The original EC is 0 0.5 to 0 0.58 and their pH is around about six to seven, so it's ideal to start with any new crop. So these current bags here are nine litre bags, and they usually hold two plants depending on the crop that's growing in them. That also comes down to the individual grower and the type of crop that they're growing in. Commonly, tomatoes are only used once, but can be used um, several times depending on hygiene and disease pressures. Um, they're very consistent. Every bag is, has, is done by weight. So the medium within each bag is the same amount. And when they expand, because they come in a press block, they expand, they create air pockets within the medium that is consistent within it that allows the roots to get plenty of air and pl plenty of drainage. Uh, Bang's using a um, Dalcon irrigation system and he's got um, Netafilm two drippers, it's two litres per hour on a 19 mil tubing. Okay. Uh, he, at the moment, he's doing by time, not by um, radiation or by solar, by light. So, um, he's catching all the runoff and he's recycling the runoff and reusing it. Well, this technology that we have here in Australia, we would regard this as medium tech hothouses where it's got white um, shade uh, covering it's got it's above the ground it's in it's in gutters it's very clean um, therefore you don't use you don't need to use as much as many sprays high um, Hot houses, where the from the from the floor to the gutter is four meters, so you have a very good um, air buffer up there for the plants. So the hot air is above the plant, so it's going to be it's a good environment, you know. Whereas the uh, the other houses, the low tech one, where you need to be more labor input and you have to put more time in. This in here, as you can see, eleven thousand square meter. There's only a handful of people. Maybe five people. Maybe, maybe yeah. five people. Yeah, maybe five people. That's about it. But at the moment, because they want to quickly go through and finish this one before they want to go to another zone. But if you only had 11,000 square meter by itself, you need about five people. First of all, the, the advantage of the white cover is light. In our industry, as a rule of thumb, 1% increase in light is 1% increase in production. Right, so for so a large area like this, 11,000 square meter, that's a lot of kilos. And not only that, it's also hygiene. All right, so that's where you don't have any weeds around the, the problem. And when you spray, there's nowhere where the actual uh, insects or the baddies can actually hide. All right, that is the reason why we have white instead of black. Black attracts heat, and that's the last thing we want in the summer. So commonly within single 
Um, tomato plants is the high wire system. These are a bit lower than what is normally out there, but the purpose of it is that each week when the plants reach a, certain, reach a certain height, they will be lowered and layered and hang under the benches and it will bring the fruit down to a perfect picking height and allow the head of the plant to be up in the perfect even crop height along the plants. This, um, this crop is uh, it's, um, supposed to last for at least 10 months. So this went in a month ago, uh, which was October. October. Yeah, so it should go around to about to August next year. And the expected yield you get around here is probably about 35 kilos per square meter. And what's the price that the farmer gets here? Well, uh, on average, two kilos per kilo, uh, two dollars per kilo. Two dollars per kilo. Two dollars per kilo, yes. So All year round, average. It varies. All right, but something like this here, you're looking at a dollar, dollar ten. Connect with us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and subscribe the YouTube channel of AgriPlus Tech India Private Limited and press the bell icon to get notification when we upload a new video.